Hi everybody, this is Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Here is the second half of the weekend top and bottom. I apologize, I had to go tend to something out in my kitchen before my house got destroyed. <laughs> anyway, usually I do this video as a whole. I don't normally break it into two parts, but I gotta do what I gotta do because I'm still a mom and that's still my primary job when I'm home with him and it hard telling when the kids are going back to school at this point if at all so he could be hanging out with us for the rest of the summer who knows it's cool though anywho water signs it is time for your weekend top and bottom after you we'll do fire so here we go Two of Cups in the reverse, Two of Swords in the upright, oh boy. Me coming to a realization why a connection didn't work out. We'll throw some clarifiers on that when we get the rest of the cards down. Something not right about that. Ace of Swords and the Hermit in the past for water signs. Could be an air sign you're dealing with, may also be a Virgo. New thought processes, new ways of thinking, new communications. This may have brought out something very spiritual, may have brought on a healing, may have just brought on some introspection time while well, you figured out what you needed to do. Queen of Wands and the Devil going on right now. Maybe a fire sign, maybe a Capricorn. Mm, something, something. If y'all don't know what a little something, something means, send me an email. I'll explain it to you. I'm, I'm not going to discuss it here on this video. But I think you know what I'm dancing around. Ace of Wands in the reverse and the Three of Swords come up this weekend. Yep. Oh, that's rough. It was a painful decision to disconnect, wasn't it? Or it's going to be this is either happening right now or it's about to happen this ace of wands in the reverse something is coming to a screeching halt and heartbreak is coming I'm sorry water signs it is what it is I read what I see I think this connection was very much based on a little something something and I think in the beginning, someone was still in the process of healing from something else. 
And I think this may have been nothing more than a Band-Aid, but we're going to get clarifiers. Ace of Cups reversed without intention. This was not about love. Why is the Ace of Swords here? One card. Okay, fine. Give me two. Lovers reversed. Magician in the upright. It had great potential. It's certainly a connection. Someone may have been ignoring the connection or not giving it the dignity and respect it deserved. But the magician, why is the magician here? Death reversed. It had such great potential, but someone had an inability to change. We got Gemini, Virgo, Aries, and Scorpio on the board. Take it out, it resonates. Potential was there. Why is the hermit here? World reversed. Someone who was still healing from something. Something hadn't completed itself yet. I'm not seeing that as a comeback around. I'm seeing something was left hanging out somewhere. In process. People moved on too quickly. A little something, something. Know what I'm saying? Throw a band-aid on it. Why not? I'm not going to clarify the Queen of Wands or the Devil because I know exactly what they mean. <laughs> not even going to throw clarifiers on that. Why is the Ace of Wands reversed here? Four of Cups. Well... Here's the bonus. This is going to hurt. This is going to hurt like hell. You're looking up at the cup. Someone's going to hand you something this weekend. It might be a dose of truth. It might be a dose of respect. One more on that. Or vice versa, you're going to hand it to somebody. Eight of cups, ten of wands, seven of cups reversed, four of cups. Burden will be released. Someone will be moving on. Could be you, could be them. There might be a little bit of confusion. I think things, wires got crossed at some point. I think somebody was more in it than the other person. Somebody was definitely throwing a band-aid on something in this situation. And I think this weekend, that's all going to come out and it's going to come to a head. And you're going to find out why. And the Two of Swords comes before the Three. I think it's finally going to connect somebody's head. 
oh crap, this wasn't what I thought it was. And it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt like hell. I'm not even going to clarify the Three of Swords. I don't have to. No, oh, I'm going to throw one on it. You want to talk. Three of Wands. Three of Swords, Three of Wands, Two Threes. Could have been a third party situation. Duh. For some of you, not all of you. I'm also looking at this as this is going to break your heart, but there's another ship coming in for you. It wasn't your ship. It wasn't your fish. Sorry about that water signs. That was painful. Uh, I'm a Scorpio Venus. That hurt my heart. Hurt my heart. All right, fire signs. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Swords reversed, justice reversed. Something isn't fair and equal, and you are ticked off as heck about it. Very sour feelings, very bad attitude. Five of Pentacles reversed in the Three of Wands. Somebody may have gotten ghosted. You waited at the dock for the return. Five of Pentacles reversed. That that's like ghosting energy. I'm not feeling that is coming out of the cold. The Chariot and the Knight of Cups. You moved on. You moved forward. You possibly physically moved. You may have put physical and or emotional distance. And here comes, some, here comes someone tromping in with that cup. Too bad he's not committal. He's the Knight of Cups. Bottom. Seven of Wands reversed in the Page of Cups. Things get a lot of control. But that Page of Cups is still hanging out. 
Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Maybe it's not a ghosting. I spoke too soon. Five of Pentacles, Eight of Cups reverse. Some of you may have had someone recently come back that you've waited a while for. Why is the Three of Wands here? The sun. It's it's like half cock. I'm going to call that reverse. The connection's not what it was when they returned. I don't think they're the same person they were. Why is the chariot here? Why is the chariot here for fire signs? Thank you. Six of pentacles reversed. Justice reversed. Six of pentacles reversed. Things are not equal. Things are not even. Things are not level. It says you pulled in two different directions. Someone could be going the distance and the other person isn't. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Eight of Wands reversed, Nine of Cups reversed, Four of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups reversed. Well, I'll be damned. I'll take all four of them. I don't normally, but I will. Hmm. Pardon my French. I'm trying not to swear. They're holding something back. They're holding something in. They're not a good communicator. They don't fill your cups with the right things. They hold back emotions. And they're emotionally withdrawn. Wow. I can't believe I'm doing this. Can I get one more? Seraphim reverse. Nope, they are not here to commit. They're there for a good time, not a long time. They're putting no emotion into this. At all. They're not here to commit. I think one of you wants to, and the other one definitely does not. This is not equal. It's not fair. Somebody's getting a sour attitude. I think they exited, and then they came back, and it's like, when are they going to exit again? The connection, it's a broken connection. It's there, but it's skewed. It's, it's not what it was. They came back a changed person. Why is the Seven of Wands here for what's going to happen this weekend? They may have already exited. 
and they left it in chaos. Hey, hey, who are you? Tower reversed. You are left to rebuild from the rubble fire signs. One more. Two of Pentacles reversed. You're juggling emotions. Things are out of control. You are surrounded by this pile of whatever. In comes the Page of Cups. Can I get one on the Page of Cups, please? The Magician. Ooh. That's potential. Eight of Swords. Not sure how I feel about that. One more for my fire signs, please. Okay, I'll take two. Six of Cups in the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Time being fluid. I don't freaking believe this. It's the merry-go-round syndrome. They may try to return again. I think this is someone that's very in and out of your life, fire signs. And every time they come back with a little bit less. And you take them back. Because you can't let go. Your head's all still wrapped up in it. There's beautiful, wonderful memories. They're constantly leaving you in piles of chaos. But there's beautiful, wonderful memories. And I think this magician should have popped in upside down because I'm feeling manipulation off of this. They're still pulling your strings. And you, but you have this bad attitude and you know things aren't equal. So let's uh, get your advice. Because you've been left in chaos not knowing what to do. Five of Wands... And the world reversed. This is going to get heated. Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, both reversed. World reversed. Five of Wands. The only one with the power to make this painful cycle end is you. Until you take it of your own accord put an end to it. It's just going to keep going round and round. They're going to keep coming back. Inflicting the same pain. Knight of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. Until you say, enough is enough, I'm done playing games. Until you gain your independence of whatever this is. It's just going to keep happening again and again. You have to have patience with yourself. You have to have self-respect and self-love. Because this is just going to keep going around and around and around. And it's going to be the same fight over and over and over again. There's no potential for growth here. And no victory. Fire signs, if you're dealing with something like this, I think you need to let go. If someone is continually coming back and leaving you in a pile of chaos, why take them back? Do you need that? I don't think you do. But you don't have to do what the cards say. You don't have to do what I say. It's your journey, not mine. 
I should read the cards. I'm going to duck out for the day, though. I have to do some online school stuff with my son. And then I got to go to work for about 10, 9, 10 hours-ish. And I might do the Taurus reading when I get home. I might not. It all depends on how tired I am when I get home. So you guys, be blessed. Take care. Try to have a wonderful weekend. Know that you loved. Love you, pets. See you next week.